Y254 Imagine A very good evening to you. I hope you've had a lovely day. We are coming to you live from Nairobi, Kenya. It has been a beautiful day, Leo, and we are hosting you tonight on the Power Talk show. Thank you so much for sticking to Y254. My name is Cheryl Blessing. I am your host tonight, and I want us to have a conversation that so many people do not truly talk about enough. We want to understand how we can become better women. Now being a woman in this day and time is very, very hard to describe because people have changed the gender roles, gender identities have been transformed and we just want to understand what is being a woman, what does femininity entail and how can we become better women. So I want to talk to you on our social media platforms at Y254TV and as we progress with the conversation you can share your questions, ask any uh, questions that you have, if you have a comment you can let us know and live in studio tonight to have this conversation with me I am joined by Belinda Odiambo who is a transformational coach and a speaker Karibu Belinda Thank you so much Cheryl You're welcome and you look lovely tonight. And right next to Belinda is another lovely lady. We have Sharon Kiki Gikundo, who is a creative and a student as well. You're welcome. Thank you so much. So as you can tell, on set, it's full of ladies. And we want to express our, our journey, our own individual's understanding of what it means to be a woman, how we can become better women, and how we can help society understand what it means to be a woman and what it means to have feminine energy. So go on our social media platforms, which is at Y254. On Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, we have a post that you can write your comments on. If you have any questions, you can ask us, and we will sample that as we progress. You can also find me on my personal pages, which is at Sharing Blessing. So I think to kickstart the conversation, I want to understand your personal understanding of what it means to be a woman. So we can start with you, Belinda. What does being a woman mean to you? A woman to me means a womb carrier. That is a man. Man is a species, but with a womb. So I carry life. I am a co-creator with God. To me, that's what a woman means. I like the way you said that because then you've taken the womb carrier and you've added the woo to the man. Yes. And that is very important because in this day and time, mm -hmm. so many people identify as women and they were born as men mm -hmm. and uh, vice versa. So the way you've described that, that is the most traditional way of describing what a woman is. Yes. Sharon, what about you? What do you think it means to be a woman? I would say almost a uh, similar thing. Uh, to me, to be a woman is... Uh, it means a womb, uh, and not just uh, as a, I'm still young, not married, but uh, I feel being a woman is a home to, you know, your partner, your children, your siblings, so even your own parents at times, they look up to you as a woman and consider you a home. Nice. That's also really good. You're a home to the community because women have the energy of being caring and nurturing all these things that complement the masculinity in the men. Yes. So I want to understand because, you know, we are, we are born into being women and uh, we do not really, there's no initiation in this day and time. You're just told, oh, you're born, you're a lady, you're a girl, a love, you become a woman. Yes. So Belinda, did anyone teach you how to become a woman? Not necessarily, but... Um I, when I was growing up, uh, my mom from time to time could uh, tell us how women are supposed to behave, uh, the way we are supposed to sit, the way we are supposed <coughs> to talk, and the uh, daily chores that women are supposed to um, undertake. 
But other than that, I think that it is something natural. Being a woman is natural. You don't have really to be taught, but someone can mentor you or guide you to have the right morals and just uh, be behavioral patterns as opposed to uh, manhood. Uh, but what you've just said is that uh, we find ourselves women. That is true. No one chooses to be a man or a woman. According to um, God's uh, uh, plan, we are supposed to be men or women. You, are not, you cannot just grow up and then one day you decide, you know, I'm tired of this body, I want another body. Yes. As a Christian, that is what I believe. Mm. Yeah. And I like the way you've said that because mm -hmm. the reality we live in today mm -hmm. is people wake up and they say, I identify as a woman, I identify as a man. There was someone who even transformed and became a dog, which a took fish. me by, yes, it took me by <laughs> surprise. Because now people can choose to say, I am a woman. Mm -hmm. But what it truly means is, that's the thing that we're trying to figure out. So Sharon, what does femininity embody for you, for you to identify as a feminine person? What does it mean to you? Um, what I would say is uh, for me to identify as a feminine or uh, femininity to me is uh, you know how you carry yourself out at uh, the people you relate with and everything surrounding you uh, for example you can say uh, right now as much as people want to identify as different things um, I know I'm a woman and just being you know in the female body doesn't and uh, mean everyone is a woman so being a woman is how you carry yourself out that's what I'll say to your manners your yes. mannerisms yeah. I mm -hmm. like that because it's your mannerisms mm -hmm. because the women mm -hmm. who are truly masculine because they carry they embody the energy of masculinity mm -hmm. and there are men who have feminine characteristics so it's your mannerisms that identify you as feminine or masculine yes and now in line with that can we do we learn because where exactly do we go and identify and say, this is how to become a better woman. This is how I can become feminine. This is how I can become more elegant. In this day and time, Belinda, where can we find resources like that? Um, we, can ha we have mentors. We have coaches. We can also learn from our peer groups uh, because um, you are as good as the company that you keep. If you hang out with people who have uh, bad mannerisms, automatically that is what you will embrace. So check on your circle. Check on uh, what you hear, what you listen to, uh, what you watch, what you read, because these inform our behaviors. Sometimes we are not born that way because most of uh, the things that we are born with is fear of um, hanger that is hungry, fear of uh, being hungry, and then fear of um, falling. But with the time, you will get to uh, behave in a certain manner because of our environment. So there are things that we learn through our environment because our behaviors are affected by nature, nurture, and choice. Nature is how you're born. You are born in a woman's body. Then nurture is how you are brought up by your parents. So if you have parents who keep you around boys and they hardly take time to talk to you and teach you on how to become a woman, sometimes you'll start behaving like a boy. And then choice comes in when someone just decides to behave that today, you know, I'm a man or I'm a woman or I'm a fish or a dog, just as you have said. Yes. Yes. So all these things will influence it. Your and I behavior. like the way you say that because truly in this day and time, we are influenced by the media we watch, yes. the digital platforms that we are frequently on. If it's Instagram mm -hmm. and I watch Kylie Jenner, mm -hmm. then I'm most likely going to embody her traits. Yes. So the, the media that we are exposed to, the people that we surround ourselves with, mm -hmm are what influence our characteristics. Yes. So there's no classes that are there for how to be feminine, how to be a woman. It's just you have to choose yes. to be a certain way by the media that you're exposed to. Yes. Now that being said, we have this gender roles. 
and there's the traditional gender roles. And your women are supposed to be in the kitchen. You're cooking, you're cleaning, you're bearing children, and that's it. But then now we've come to an age where women are in corporate worlds. They're the CEOs, and they're embodying the roles that were traditionally male-dominated. Mm -hmm. So has that influenced our femininity in some way? Has it changed the way we become or we express our femininity? Sharon, what, what are your thoughts on that? Um, well, um, what I can tell you is that it has somehow uh, affected us uh, because you find the modern woman, um, as much as we have toxic masculinity, and that's something that most people don't uh, agree with or recognize. As much as we have uh, toxic masculinity, let's be honest, there's also te uh, toxic feminism. So it has gotten to a point that the modern woman is, you know, very woke, and that the things, uh, I feel like as much as we are trying to promote, you know, equality, let's be honest, it's equity, because at the end of the day, uh, if I want to change a bulb, I'm a four or five babe, there's no way I'm going to do it. So I need a man in my life to help me with that. But at the same time, uh, there's that collision between, you know, uh, the men and women because as much as there's the toxicity part, I feel like the modern woman knows what she wants and stands by it. Yes. Wow. I like that. You've brought about a topic that I want us to touch on later on in the conversation, toxic femininity because we like to talk about toxic masculinity but we miss out on the fact that we also as women have some traits that are toxic yeah so in line with that we are empowered women these days are empowered to have a voice because in the past people couldn't say I want to do this I want to do that because you do not have that empowerment so that empowerment has caused some friction mm -hmm. and it has caused a lot of disagreement between the genders and the we need to get to an understanding. So what gender roles are we supposed to play in these modern times? Belinda, what do you think are the gender roles we should still play in this day and time? Uh, before I answer that, I also still believe that uh, women tend to abandon themselves when they get married. As a young girl, you have all the dreams. You want to be this, I want to be a hostess, I want to be a pilot, I want to be a doctor. Then at some point, you get married before you achieve your dreams. Then you drop all your dreams. Anytime you're having a conversation, my husband, my children, my in-laws, I'm going to keep cook biryani, I'm going to do this. It's all about in-laws, husbands, um, children, and the other part of the community. Where did you abandon yourself as a woman? So this also makes someone to be bitter as opposed to getting better. And we are here because of becoming better, not to become bitter. So as a woman, we should not abandon ourselves. But even if we abandon ourselves, it is not yet late. We can pick up ourselves, go back, revisit, go to your memory lane. Think about what happened and how did you drop yourself. Then start collecting yourself. Become one with yourself. Become one with your spirit, your soul, and your body. So that we don't just see the body operating with uh, the husband, uh, in-law, and children, but all your dreams are faded. Mm -hmm. Yes. So back to your question. You are asking about the roles. Yes. So um, I think uh, women should be allowed to choose the career path they want to go to. They should be allowed to choose the roles that they want to do in the house. But the basic ones like um, taking care of the family, because you know women naturally are nurturers. We are the ones who take care of the home. We take care of the children. We take care of the husband emotionally, that is. Not that I'm supposed to iron all the days to make me a woman. I'm not a dobby. <laughs> and then... <laughs> And then there's the option of me treating you once in a while by cooking. That is why we have house managers to support us as career women. You should not subject your woman to cooking daily, yet she's at work. Right now you're doing something here, right? You're hosting the show. Yes. If you had a husband, uh, do you have a husband? Anyway, that's <laughs> no. a question for another day. She's very single, by the way. No. <laughs> 
Yes, <laughs> but imagine after hosting this show, then you you find your husband seated in the on the couch at around maybe 11 waiting for you to cook ugali. That's not fair. Go there with pizza if you don't have a house manager. Yes, there's that option. Mm -hmm. And let's embrace technology to help us as women to make our roles easier. There's a reason as to why we have tech. Tech helps us to make our roles easier. Yes. yes. And I like the way you've said that because what you started with is important. Mm -hmm. We neglect ourselves in relationships, not just in marriage. Mm -hmm. You find that most women get into relationships and they prioritize the man over themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be our next conversation. Mm -hmm. But what you said about gender roles, mm -hmm. you have to discuss with your partner. You yes. have to come to an understanding mm -hmm. and say, this is what I can do on a Monday to Friday, yes. because I'm busy, I'm at the office as well as you are. Yeah. So you have to come to an understanding mm -hmm. and then work together. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I like about what you've said. Mm -hmm. Now what about the girls who say, Mimi siyezi enda kupika, nikona makucha mimi sifuwa nguo. Because you know, Sharon, young ladies these days have these ideologies of soft life. But kamu kona makucha, nunua washing machine. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> the way you said utilizing technology. Exactly. Nice. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think each person, each lady has to discuss with their partner mm -hmm. before getting into long-term com com commitments yes. so that you understand what you're willing to do and what you're willing to compromise on mm -hmm. because that is the thing that causes conflicts in relationships. Yes. And that takes us to our next part. Women in relationships, how can we become better partners? Because if, if you come into a relationship and you expect the man to play his traditional roles, but you're not willing to play your traditional roles, then how is that going to work? Sharon, what do you think about that? Because most young ladies have that ideology. They do not want to be the traditional woman, but they expect a traditional man. Um, that is a topic that uh, might get uh, to a heated debate because I feel like um, there's a disconnection in the modern wom uh, women in that, uh, you see, right now in relationships, if I can speak not really from first-hand experience, but from experience, you find out uh, that a lady is looking for a man and they expect them to, you know, uh, provide for them, give them money, and then you're there saying, I could never. But at the same time, uh, in my own experience, I would never play wifey duties for a boyfriend. Because at the end of the day, I feel like it's what we two as partners mm -hmm. contribute in each, as, in each other's li uh, mm -hmm. lives. Because if you show me you care and, you know, because I feel for a woman, when a woman loves you, you don't need to tell her to do anything for you. Mm -hmm. And women are big gifters in that if you truly uh, care for me and love me genuinely, mm -hmm. then I'll do anything to make you happy and I'll always recipro reciprocate without feeling, you know, any... Coerced. Um, I don't feel like uh, I'm being forced or mm -hmm. I'm getting manipulated, as most people say. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we need to, you know, know each other and when you get in a relationship... Recently I saw somewhere say, uh, someone say social media has gotten us to a point that we feel like we can do it on our own, but in reality we need each other. Men and women, we need each other. As much as we feel, you know, the woman feels, uh, for me, yeah, I want to be an independent lady and everything, but I really need a man. I need companionship in my life. So as much as we aim for, you know, uh, independence, but I feel like at the end of the day, we need one another. Yes. That's what uh, Belinda. I want to add on what she's just said. Yes. Uh, if you're getting into a relationship, make sure that you start it on a note that, is sustainable because if you start washing your either your husband or your boyfriend's handkerchiefs and innerwares from day one you will wash it forever so be very clear that this is what i can do and this is what i won't tolerate yes because sometimes when we want to create an impression when we are getting into a relationship we are all good you are asked to do this yes sir you go do it brush my shoes you know you do you're doing you're going out of where out of your way to do things that ordinarily you don't like to do mm. so do something that you can do for the rest of your life 
don't create an impression that after three months or four months down the line, you change. Yes. So be very clear when you're getting into a relationship. Yes. yes. And I like what you've said. Create sustainable habits. Yes. Start on a, on a note that you're going to maintain. Mm -hmm. I, there was another gentleman who said the exact same thing. He wow. was talking to the gents. And he was saying, you can't start taking her to a five-star <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> and then three months later, unampeleka kwa kibanda. It's <laughs> not sustainable. No. <laughs> and you see what Sharon said. Mm -hmm. At a girlfriend level, if you start doing wife roles, if you start being a wife... Mm -hmm the man will see that this is who you are mm -hmm. and they will take it and run with it. Yes. So if you start changing and saying, no, no, I'm a girlfriend, you're exploiting me, you already set the pace. Yes. So you have to be very clear. Back at home, if you're dating someone, start on a note that you know you will maintain. Be sustainable as you progress. So I want us to go on a very, very short break on that note. And when I come back, I want us to talk about dating multiple people, dating sponsors, because we have people who are doing that. So stay tuned. Go to our social media platforms at Y254. We want to understand what are the qualities of a better woman. Share some of your comments. Ask us any question and we'll sample that as we progress with this show. Stay tuned. This is Power Talk and my name is Cheryl Blessing. Y254 Imagine